guys hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in i hope that this video is um this series has been in, no not entertaining i hope that this, this series has been educative not to just me myself alone but to everyone that is, that is going through one thing or the other that feels like um maybe they failed that has feel like this is the end of things for them that has feel like that feels like god has forgotten them that feels like things are not just working in their favor i also hope that you know that you are not alone sis bro you're not alone we are here with you god is here with you and if you think that you need um someone to talk to personally without judgment you can reach out to me on instagram at the two for me this the name of my channel is, is my um, instagram and you can reach out to me on instagram also i will be i'll be very very excited as well there's always something to learn and there are some things that i have learned that i didn't i didn't even see myself like this was this was something to learn during the process so guys come with me i've written them down number one thing is to be sensitive in your spirit now it doesn't matter if you are a christian if you if you are a good christian if you are a muslim if you are a traditionalist there's this thing called intuition 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 you should understand what i'm trying to say and there's there's this way it nudges you guys so you just feel like this thing is this thing is wrong now in my own case it's it's easier for you to to even say that um this is what the spirit is telling me because I was um I I received some word, I received the word for like ten times one I was saying one or twelve times and it was it was true it was true a dream and it was the same thing more than twelve times imagine dreaming the same thing more than twelve times I was just like at the point it became really really scared it became really really uh, I became really really scared okay to sleep because I'm just like is it, is it is this what I'm going to be seeing again and the interpretation I gave to it guys was different from what I was supposed to see. Like because if I had seen interpretation that it was it was that it if I had seen it for what it was, I would have um I would have been more sensitive and I would have been more careful and I, and this probably this would have gotten to this stage because eventually it would have still broken up. We would have still broken up, but it wouldn't have gotten to this stage before we broke up. So and this is not to say that I didn't pray before we started the relationship or we started the wedding. Of course we were praying, I was praying, we were, we were even fasting and all of that. But it was just it was just that some things are not what it's supposed to be. Some things are not the way they are supposed to be. So I we I wasn't too sensitive to see the other side of what the story was telling me. So it was after the whole thing happened that the word of God now came to me, and God was just like, "I told you this thing. I gave you a sign. I kept on telling you." And I was like, "Father, I was, I was, you know, it's like, so, it's like someone telling you that if you pass that road, though, they are going to have accidents, and then you keep praying against the accident instead of actually not passing through, like." What they are telling is that don't pass the road. But you are praying that God, I'm going to pass this road and Jesus might not have accident. That was literally how it was. And God was like, I kept that was what I kept on telling you because I was like, ah. So really, if if I had seen it, but see, let me just run it off by saying that I was it was really locked, I was I was worrying me. And, and I I didn't even see the possibility of that happening, of, of it being that God was saying, No, 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 I, I you don't have to take this step. This is not this is not the right step for you to take. This is not what you should be doing. But it has happened, it has happened. We bring it to my next point. Be open to people about your relationship, about the things you are going through. I know they say that when you're in a relationship with people, let people know let people know that you are dating, but they shouldn't know the details about your relationship. Guys, there are some things you shouldn't hide. Now, for example, this particular dream that I've been I've been the only person I told was my ex about the dream, and then both of us prayed about it. And now now now, now I'm thinking in retrospect. If I had told maybe my mom or maybe my pastor about it. Maybe it would have been a bit different. Maybe they would have seen things differently. But I just felt like we have prayed about it. We kept on praying about it. So is that, I mean, is it not prayer that we're supposed to pray? It's prayer. So I feel like if I had been then there's some things that happened in the course of the relationship that I didn't tell my parents. So after everything else scattered, I was not telling my parents. My parents was like, You should have told me. You should have see me and my dad are close. I've said a million times on this channel. I'm very, I'm closer to my dad than my mom. And we both we talk like we are G's, we talk like we are friends. Not it doesn't even look like a father and daughter relationship. So it was just like you should have told me this thing. Like if you had told me, I would have told you from a man's perspective that this is what it means. What this is what it means. But I didn't see it that way. I just felt like it's they say Ilioko is Ilioko. When you get whatever you guys see, you are not supposed to be telling people that this is what my husband did. This is what this one this this one that one did. So I kept them to myself. The next point is there are some things you can't change. For example opinions of people about you if you watch my videos where i talked about assumptions you realize that i said i said that i kept on trying to change the person's perspective about me and this person just 
did not see it happening. She just did not want to have it. She goes, was, was not just having it. So that is a typical example of you can't change people's opinions about you. If people say that this is the kind of person, say, so, ah, you are so short, but in my mind, you are tall. That is it. You can't change people's opinion about you. So don't even bother to try changing everyone's opinion about you. Don't try. Next point, you can't expect, you can't convince everyone to believe you. So in the course of this whole um, breakup and the fight and all of that, for everyone that I heard that knows about the situation and saying something different, I tried to call them, to reach out to them, to tell them my own side of the story. But I came, I, I came to realize that how many people will I call? No. How many people am I going to call? How many people am I going to speak to and say, oh no, this is not what happened, you have to hear my side of the story. Not everybody is going to hear your side of the story. And even if all of them are interested in hearing your side of the story, not everybody is going to believe your side of the story. So you have to be ready to live with the fact that some people are still going to misquote you, some people are still going to misjudge you, some people are still going to lie on top of your head. So you have to be ready to live with that fact. Then, another one is humans will always be humans, no matter the title, no matter the degree, no matter how perfect we think they are. No matter, see, it's only Holy Spirit and God that cannot lie. Human beings will always be human beings. No matter how much the Spirit of the Lord dwells in you, they are still human beings. At least they are not spirits yet, they are human beings and still be. Humans will always be human. So don't let anything shock you. I, 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 I just said this from this perspective and a lot of things shocked me, came as a shock because I felt like ah, this person should be behaving this way, giving, ah, but that's happened like this, that's happened like this and then I, I was seeing a different side of people, of human beings. So human beings will always be human beings, no matter how you try, see your Bible people even say that, hey, you are know, my humans are humans. Anyways, I'm already having a day for it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. I've, I've tried to compress this thing into three videos because Vlogmas is ending this week. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Most likely, I will just put the mini pattern to write it and post on my Instagram page. Thank you guys. I I really, 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 really appreciate your support. I really, really love you guys. So, right now, as the person asked me about single, yes, I'm, I'm single. All of us are single together. Single, pretty good. You have told me it's my father's house. So, I'm many days here with the story my father came. This is not funny, but this is me trying to make the most out of this bad situation. Thank you guys. I I love you guys so much. Until tomorrow, guys. <laughs>